Lake Kivu's vast waters form the border between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And in the middle lies a power plant that creates electricity from deadly gas. Methane and carbon dioxide have accumulated over thousands of years during volcanic eruptions of Mount Naragongo. Two million lives are at risk if the gas were to escape to the surface. That is why it is called the Killer Lake. Only two other such lakes exist in the world, both in Cameroon. The risk with this kind of lake is that we have oversaturation of gas in the water and that it may um, trigger what we call a limnic eruption, which will create waves, tsunami at surface and so on. And in the 80s in Cameroon Lakes, it killed more, it killed more than 1,000 people. So we don't want that it happens here. And it is not a theoretic threat. Last year, Niragongo erupted again, pushing a second wave of lava deep into the earth, under the lake itself. Engineers considered a shutdown of the Kivu Watt power plant, but the firm banks on transforming this risk into an opportunity. So removing this gas, uh, if it's done correctly, may help to reduce the risk of a limnic eruption. And of course, if when using this gas, we can also help the country to develop by, for example, producing electricity, then we, we have two chances from one uh, threat. Kivu Watt provides around 30% of Rwanda's annual electricity. Ironically, the operators say it is even green energy. Kivu Watt is five to six times less polluting in terms of carbon emission a, to a traditional or conventional peat power plant. So I would say while we are burning this gas here, even if it is a thermal plant, it's still considered as a clean source of energy. Experts say it will take centuries to deplete the massive underwater reserves, basically a bottomless energy supply. But in parallel, the threat of death. Riverside residents tell of swimmers disappearing in Lake Kivu's depths suffocated by the gas or pulled under.